so hello guys and welcome back today in this new video today i'm showing you some of the best shaders and resource packs for project launcher on an android device which will run like butter on your device and you wouldn't even feel a bit of lag unless if you have a low-end device but these shaders should run perfectly fine on a high-end device so after I made my first Pojab launcher video to yesterday, many people asked me that they couldn't actually download these shaders and all because they were having some problems like first of all Pojab launcher was crashing on their phones, it was too laggy, it wasn't working and some actually couldn't actually download these shaders. They had some internal problems and they couldn't find Pojab launcher folder in the device, the dot .minecraft folder was invisible on their device, they couldn't find it, Pojab launcher used to crash automatically and all of these errors today i'm going to be fixing all of them in this video So guys, basically there is a very 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 simple solution for this. So basically the .minecraft file is a hidden file. I don't know why they hide it but it's a hidden file. So you basically need to download any file explorer which will let you uh, see hidden files. And I recommend you to download Zarchiva because it's very easy to see hidden files in it. Just go on the three dots on the left, on the right and then just select on hidden files. And then you can go to the Poja branch directory and then you will see the .minecraft folder magically appear. So guys again this is a very simple so basically you need to go and check your renderer and if it's on Zing put it on GL4ES and then try to launch Minecraft if it still doesn't work try to launch it in the freeform mode then check the memory allocation put this to the highest your phone can give you and then if all of these methods don't work that means you're probably in a version which is bugged or doesn't work with your device so basically delete the Pojab launcher you are using right now and download it from the play store the next is resolution scaler so basically try to lower your resolution as much as possible according to your device if you have a low end device i would recommend using it by 25 to 30 percent if you have a mid end anything above 50 is okay and on high end phone 100 is great So basically you need to go to the link in the description called as open for es shaders android and then you can choose from any of these three shaders here and then go to your phone storage then search on games pojav launcher dot minecraft shader packs and install these on the shader pack folder so guys now let's get up to the cinematics here so basically these are all the different types of reliefs now i just remembered one thing is that many people are actually asking me the how do they actually look like this like for many people they are actually looking like this so basically you need to go and put your trees to smart or fancy to make them look like this i recommend fancy because it doesn't give you a very 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 huge fps impact but it makes a huge impact on your graphics next thing is how does this sand come on the stone blocks basically you need to go to the details again and just enable connected textures that's just it as you can see there just need to enable connected text connected textures there as you can see it's on fancy that's how you do it that's just it and everything does this you can see basically is an amazing whole showcase here you can see there are so many different different kinds of things there are the eyes here as you can see it's so beautiful just comparing it to the magma block 